Hi Scorpios and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading from December 1st to the 7th. Please keep keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot.gmail.com. Phone readings are $30. Emergency readings are $50. Okay? Now, I've already shuffled your cards off camera, as always. But I will shuffle them again, and hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving, okay? Uh, my name, uh, please tell me about um, Scorpios. You guys are my last reading of the night. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st through the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me... Okay. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. That's way too many cards. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from, this, from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from December 1st to the 7th, 2019. Please tell me about Scorpios in love. There we go. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. Libras just Libras, they just had the same card at the bottom of the deck. And we have the strength card here. Okay. So what we have here, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands and the Moon. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Strength card. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Leo, a Sag, Aries, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, I have everybody here. I have water, earth. Actually, we don't have no air here. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. And someone here feels very passionate about you. You are emotionally fulfilling for them. And they feel very passionate towards you. And you probably don't have this the slightest idea that this person feels this way towards you. And they want to cooperate with you, but they're holding back. They're holding back. They're holding back here. They have feelings towards you. And they want a new beginning with you. And they want to come in rushing. They want to come in rushing fast. But they're holding themselves back. Why? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Let's find out about this Knight of Wands. Okay. Please give me more information on the Knight of Wands. Please give me more information on the Knight of Wands. Please give me more information on this Knight 
Okay. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information. Okay, what we have here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have, well, this is a card to clarify with. doesn't matter. Okay, so what we have here, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So this person now wants to come in, and they want to come in fast. They want to communicate, and this person could be spying on you as well. They could be spying on you. And they could be traveling towards you because we have the Knight of Wands here and we have the Eight of Wands. So this person could be traveling towards you or you could be traveling towards them. Keep in mind that this could go vice versa. It doesn't have to be you. It could easily be the other person. So if you need to flip it, flip it. So this person could be traveling to you, traveling out of the state, out of the city, out of the county, or just traveling out to your home. And they could be spying on you as well. Because now this person, this person now wants to invest. They now want to invest into this communic into this connection, and they want to communicate this to you. So this could be communication, or this could be them spying on you. I will, uh, the way I'm picking it up, the way I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that they spying on you. This person is spying on you. They feel very passionate towards you. You are emotion, you are emotionally fulfilling to them, and that's the reason why they want to come in rushing. And they and communicate this to you because now they want to put in the work. Now they want to put in the effort. Not the work. Now they want to invest into this relationship. Now they want to invest to it because they want this new beginning with you. Because they feel very passionate towards you. So they want to put in the... They want to invest now. Let's find out about this moon. Let's find out what is it that you don't know. Please give me more information on this moon. Why is the moon here? Please give more information on this moon. Please give more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please give more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please give more information on the moon. Why is the moon here? Please give more information on the moon. Why is the moon here? Please give more information on the moon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, you sure didn't know about this. But look what we have. We have justice. They, them trying to come in and make things right. The chariot, moving on. And the king of cups. You didn't know this. You didn't know that this person actually wants to come back in and make things right with you. They want to balance out the scale. So you could be dealing with a Libra here as well and a cancer so this person wants to come back in they, they want to come back in and make things right they want to balance out the scales with you and they also want to make you they also want to make an offering to you because the king of cups the king of cups he's uh ex he extends himself he makes he's very mature when it comes to his emotions he's mature he's balanced and his emotions are balanced and He's not good when it comes to verbalizing his uh, emotions. He sucks at it. But he knows exactly how much to give and how much not to give. It's not like he's going to overwhelm. He's not like he's going to uh, smother you with, you know, all this love. He's emotionally balanced. And the king of cups, he extends himself out. And that's exactly what this person is doing. They're extending themselves out to you because they want to make things right. Because they want to move forward with you. With the chariot here. And this is something that you don't know. You don't know that this person wants this. You don't know that this person wants to come back. And make things right. Because this person feels very passionate about you. This person feels very passionate here. They want a new beginning with you. They want to make things right. They want to do right by you. 
and you guys probably are not communicating and if you guys are communicating you're communicating very little to none or maybe you guys are maybe some of you guys did already communicate with this person maybe this person already communicated with you because we have the hermit in reverse here so this person is no longer isolating themselves so they so you guys probably already heard from this person this person already contacted you guys and they're already making this offering to you and now they want to cooperate with you because we have the three of pentacles here and they want to cooperate i want to find out more i want to know more about this strength card i want to know about the strength card why is this strength card here Please give me more information on the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Please give me more information on the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Please give me more information on the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Please give me more information on the strength card. Please give me more information on the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Please give me more information on the strength card. Please give me more information on the strength card. Okay, we got a lot of cards that just came up here. Oh, look at this. This is good, Scorpio. Look at this. Awesome. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini as well. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So this person is no longer holding back. They're now opening up to you because now they want to cooperate with you. So now they're opening up to you. And look, we got the three of pentacles again. Them wanting to cooperate with you and they wanting, them wanting to make amends with you. With the five of swords in reverse, this person wants to make amends with you. They don't want to fight with you. They want to make amends. And we got the lovers here. So you could be dealing with a Gemini here. So this person wants to come back in. They want to open up to you. They want to cooperate with you. They want to work together. They want to compromise. They want to make adjustments wherever adjustment is needed. They don't want to fight with you at all. They want this new passionate beginning because they feel that you are their soulmate and this person actually does love you. They care about you and you're the one that they want to be with. You're the one that they want to be with here. And that's why they want to come back now. And make an offering. Because that's how they're coming back. This person is coming back as the king of cups. Making an offering. Wanting to move forward with you. And this person could have probably already communicated with you. You guys could be talking already. For me, the way I'm feeling it right now. I believe I'm feeling that most of you guys. This person has already communicated with you guys already. The way I'm feeling it right now. is coming to me that you guys. This person has already communicated with you guys but not all you guys but either way this person does want to come back now they want to invest into this connection because you are emotionally fulfilling for them you do feel passion they feel very passionate towards you you could be dealing with a libra as well here and they want to make things right they want to make things right with you they do let me see if they're and look, at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. This was at the bottom of the deck, so this person does love you. We have the lovers, and now at the bottom of the deck, we had the, we, we had the Ace of Cups here. Let's see. Let me get, I'm going to get one card just for the Three of Pentacles. Please give me, please tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Three of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Three of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Three of Pentacles. Look at that. The Knight of Cups. Them coming in. Making an offering. The Knight of Cups. Because they want to cooperate now. With you guys, this was a really good, straight to the point reading, Scorpio. Like, really good. This person wants to cooperate, they want to meet you halfway, they want to compromise, they want to make adjustments, they don't want to fight with you because they want to be with you, and they're and they're opening up to you now. They're no longer holding themselves back. 
and they want to move forward with you. They want to invest into this communication because you're emotionally fulfilling for them. This is really good, Scorpio. This is a really good reading. Really good. And it's, this is actually the best reading I had the whole entire night. The best. The rest of them, eh, this is like the best one. Okay, let's get you a guidance message here. Please give me a guidance message for Scorpio. Please give me a guidance message for Scorpio. And let me see here. Please give me a guidance message for Scorpio. Please give me a guidance message for Scorpio. Angel warriors. Angels oversee your life and protect you. There you go. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. And I will see you guys again next week for your weekly readings. Well, not really next week, but whenever. I'll see you for your weekly readings. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, Scorpios.